The name G-spot first came about in the 50s from a scientist in Germany, I believe, called Gaffenberg. It's, the, it's called the Gaffenberg spot because he discovered that there seemed to be one particular place inside the vagina that had special powers. But the G-spot is not a mystery at all and never has been. For centuries, Yogi and Guru and Swami have known about it. The G-spot is not inside the vagina. It is a small tube designed uh, like a penis, if I can say that, which extends as it's uh, energized into the top portion, the top roof of the vaginal cavity when the female is properly energized. It extends down so that it can be contacted by the penis. And when the G-spot is activated, it awakens the entire vaginal complex and allows things to happen that normally don't happen. It's something that every real uh, practice in Tantra incorporates. Uh, the prostate is the same thing. Uh, most people do not understand, but for men, the center of their sexuality is not in the penile shaft. It's in the prostate. In fact, it's right beside the prostate in the ganglia of nerves that control the prostate called the Jomin point. This spot is activated by what is called milking the prostate and a special type of prostate massage. When this spot is activated, the male's center of awareness and center of sexuality gradually begins to shift from being penis-centered to being internally prostate-centered. And the man be then unlocks his, uh, shall we say, dormant sexual powers and becomes capable of sexual feats and orgasmic activity uh, that would seem extraordinary to the average man.